Kia ora, welcome to Toyo Hall My Library. This short video will show you how to cross search the majority of the library databases at once. Please note not all databases are searchable in this manner and their content is only available on their platforms, for example Westlaw and CCH legal databases. The library provides a wide range of databases to assist in your studies 24-7. Access is free to staff and students of Toyo Homai Institute of Technology. Please log into your library account using your staff or student login and password if not currently logged onto one of the institute's computers. To conduct your search, enter your search terms in the search box under online resources. Some tips when conducting a search are look at the topics you need to cover in your assessment as this will help you locate relevant content. Only include the main words or keywords of a term. Do not use the first name of an author. Spelling is important, however, most search engines do recognise English and American spelling. In the search, I will be looking for resources relating to Indigenous health outcomes. Once you have entered your terms, either hit enter or click on the icon. This will redirect you into the discovery service. On the left hand side you can see that you have the ability to refine your results. The library has already selected full text. However, you can also further refine your results depending on your needs. Under the date range, you can narrow this date range by moving the bar on the timeline. This will enable you to narrow it depending on the requirements of your assessment. This will automatically update and eliminate older material. Further down, you can access or restrict based on specific source types. If you need more than one resource type, click Show More and make your selection. If you only need one, such as Academic Journals, if you click that option, it will automatically update and eliminate all other resource types. You can see on the first example that the icon now is saying academic journal and all the other results will do the same. The next box that you can use is subject. You can either click on the name or click on the drop arrow to bring up the drop down menu. This is one area that I suggest that you do click show more. The reason being is usually you need to select multiple terms to narrow your results. Please be aware that quite often there are similar topics listed. Select all of those that are relevant. When you are going through the list, please make sure that you scroll down as you may find other terms that are relevant further down on the list. Once you have made your selections, click Update. This will narrow the results depending on how many resources that you have chosen. You can go back to the subject list at any time. You would be wanting to reduce this number as this is probably too many to go through at one time, but that is your decision to make. From the results, as you go through them, you need to evaluate each resource. You can do this by looking at the name of the article, the database or the name of the article, uh, the journal. You can have a look at the subjects. The subjects will enable you to select further material based on subject matter. Also have a look at the abstract. This is only a small part of the abstract. You can see more of it if you hover the cursor over the piece of paper with the magnifying glass and then drag down the bar. Read the abstract looking for information that is relevant to your topic. If it has the information that you think you require, click Add to Folder. Please note that it is extremely rare for one article to contain all the information that you need and you will need multiple articles to meet your needs. Go down the list and repeat the process and then click as many articles as you think that are relevant to your topic. Once you have finished making your selections, go to the top of the bar and click Folder. In the folder, all the resources that you have selected will be listed.
If you have just selected articles, they will be available in this first screen. However, if you have selected other resources, you will need to repeat this process in each of the folders. Tick Select. Once you have done that, please click Email. In Email Manager, this is how you can send all the articles that you have selected to yourself. Please note that the articles are not coming from Toy or My, they are coming from EBSCO.com. In the email too, you can enter either your Toy or My email or a personal email. Whichever one you select, please make sure that it is correct. Under citation format, you can click the down arrow and select the style that we use, which is APA 7th. This may not be correct, however, it does provide you with some of the information that you need to construct your reference list. Once you have done that, click Send. In the pop-up box, please double check that your email is correct. Even if it is incorrect, please click Continue. This will take you back to the folder option and you can again go through the process of selecting and emailing the content to yourself. In the email that you will receive, you will receive an email for each individual article as well as one email that has all the articles listed as well as any article that just has an HTML. Please note that some databases require additional logins on first or subsequent access. If you require assistance, please contact the library. You can contact us by email, phone or by popping into one of our two locations. If you would like to sit down and discuss your search with a faculty librarian or another staff member, please email the library. Please include your name, how we can help you or what type of help you need, the course that you're enrolled on, and which campus you are based on or whether you're a distance student. We will get back to you as soon as we possibly can.